I had told you last week that um, um, I had ordered the Milani, the other two Milani eye palettes, and I, <laughs> I wasn't going to get the neutral one. The I love these frosty colors, and they really caught my attention. Um, I just said, "What the heck?" You know, I was like, "Really?" I told you I was bummed last week, and I ordered it, and I couldn't find this anywhere. Supposedly, they were supposed to be at Walmart. I didn't see it. All right, so I visited like two Walmart here and I didn't see them here either. As soon as I got this, I realized that this is a very, very, very close match to the extremely hard to find Gilded Age. Now, one of the things I found out is that I believe this is going to be a part of Milani's permanent line. So you'll most likely find it wherever Milani is sold. I guess, you know, because I went to CBS and they still don't have these. Um, so anyway, um, I took pictures side by side. I did one eye with one, one eye with the other, and it is extremely similar, extremely similar. So I am really, really glad that I got this. Um, I would probably not use those other colors. If you're into neutrals, I would definitely recommend this. I will probably not wear those other colors. I'll probably pass it on to my oldest daughter who likes to wear neutral colors. Um, but those frosty colors are what got my attention and I love them. Um, so I did a look and I compared them and I took pictures and everything. So I'll show you that. The only difference that I found is that um, this was meant to be a bronzed, um, like a bronzy for the summer. And it definitely does come off more bronzier. It is more deeper, more intense. I really have to say that we already know that Wet n Wild's eyeshadows, the pigmentation is out of this world, except some of their masks. Um, whereas this definitely needs a base. <laughs> Wet n Wild, you don't need a base. With this, you definitely do. But it is so extremely similar that if I was you, I would either go to the website, if you guys missed out on the Gilded Age, I will go to the Milani website and I will definitely order this because their shipping is reasonable. It's $5 up to like 100 and then it's free shipping. So I think that is extremely reasonable. Um, I've just, you know, with my disappointment with not being able to find one in Wild Hair, I, I, I don't know why I've been looking into Milani lately. Um, so, yeah. So um, definitely... Um, if you don't mind paying the $5 shipping, if you have PayPal or credit card, I would get this on the Milani site. Um, if you missed out on this, extremely similar. Took pictures and everything. Um, but I would assume that most likely, because it is under their new items and it didn't say limited edition, I'm going to assume that if it is going to be a permanent item, you will start seeing those in the stores. And the other palette I got was this pastel one. <laughs> Um, so the, cause I, I remember telling you in early spring that I was, I, I was going to get these, that I liked them, blah, blah, blah. Um, beautiful, beautiful pastel colors for the spring. I think pastel is more like for the spring. Um, and as I was trying them on, I was like, Hmm, you know, these are so pastel. -y. How could you use this in, you know, like as a look, cause they're just so pastel. You would have to probably mix them with maybe the paint palette or, uh, maybe some of the darkest color from that palette or whatever other eyeshadow you have. But as I was, you know, putting on my makeup, I guess, you know, the, the idea came to me and I was able to use all the colors in one look and it was really pretty. Um, so, and I'll show you all of that.